Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Park Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some realistic interior rendering in the SketchUp and Enscape. So let's get to work. I'm going to talk about interior rendering setting, but before we start this tutorial, look at the outside of the house. It's the uh, simple HDRI related to the uh, ocean and sea. So uh, I prefer to use some type of overcast HDRI in here and it's really wonderful about the uh, quality of it as we can see this is the simple environment that we have in here and i'm going to show you how you can create some realistic render from this mirror and decoration so i'm going to click on the view management in here and i'm going to click on the super zoom in this place so i'm going to close it in here and i'm going to turn on the save frame First of all, I'm going to click on the visual setting and in the uh, atmosphere, I'm going to turn off the fog option and turn off the sun brightness because I need some type of overcast rendering like that. And now I'm going to turn off the night sky brightness. For the interior renderings, we usually have some type of soft shadows. So I'm going to use the 0% uh, of the shadow sharpness and the wind is about zero again so when i walk in the environment you can see these type of smooth shadows in here and it's really wonderful and exactly we want these type of things in here ambient brightness is about 66 percent and i press enter and the artificial light brightness is not important at all right now so i'm gonna click on the image bar turn on the auto contrast and I'm going to press F on my keyboard to come back to my previous scene in here. Alright. Now I'm going to reduce the color temperature, some number about 4000 Kelvin. And saturation is 98%. Motion blur is not really useful in here, so I'm going to turn it off. And I don't need any type of bloom in my environment. But I can hold a little bit reflection and lens flare about 38% and Vignate is some number about 12 and chromatic abbreviation is 0. So in the main bar I'm going to reduce the field of view to focus and zoom on my target and some number about 62 degrees really good. I turn off the auto exposure to see what happened in my environment. As you can see, this is the our environment without any type of auto exposure. So I'm going to click on the visual setting and increase the auto exposure manually about 62%, something like that, or 64%. Not bad. But I prefer to use 62% in here and depth of field. I'm going to activate the depth of field for the focusing and the camera. So I'm going to play with the focal point to reach to the best result of it. I'm going to focus on these things on the table. So I'm going to type 3.38 meter and depth of field is some number about 9%. So in the mode and style option in the uh, SketchUp and Enscape, you can see we have mode option in here. If I change it to the white mode, as you can see, all the things will completely change to the override render. And when I change it to the non mode, this is the final result that we have in this place. So please check it very carefully because it's really important for us. So I'm going to reduce the field of view. Something about 61 is really good. And in some other places, we don't have any some specific job in here. So, everything is done right now, but I need a little bit light in here, but I don't know how to make it. For this reason, first of all, I'm going to close the uh, Enscape in here completely. All right. And now I'm going to save my job and click on the Enscape objects in here and use the spotlight for creating some type of simple spotlight in here. I want to load IES profile in here and I want to use the visual tools, IES light 
and use some type of IS like number 5 and open it. I want to increase the aluminum's intensity about 56 candela and now I'm gonna move it in here inside of my lighting something like that and I need another copy on the blue axis and click on the Philip option and rotate it on the blue axis very simple and easy so I'm gonna move it a little bit to the downside now I create some type of double side light in here so I'm gonna come back to the uh, scene number one and start Enscape again it takes a little bit time and after that you can see Enscape with load all of the objects and environment for you very simple and easy the error is not really important at all, so I'm going to continue my job very fast and easy. So, now I add some type of IE slides in my environment and I want to see what happened in here. So, I think now it will be load for us after a minute. It depends on your graphic card and your system, but it will load for you very simple so as you can see this is the environment that we have in here so I'm gonna test my IS light very fast and easy for this reason I'm gonna select this light click on the Enscape objects and increase the uh, power as you can see this is the uh, result of this job very simple something about maybe a uh, 9000 candela is really good something like that and i can change the color of the slides so i'm going to click on the paint bucket in the sketchup and click on the colors and i need some type of warm color like the uh light pink or some type of color d02 or c2 something like that as you can see the colors are completely changed for us in here and you can adjust it in this place very simple and easy so this is the final result that we have in here so I'm gonna add it deselect it alright everything is good right now and I'm gonna come back to the uh, Enscape environment I'm going to click on the visual setting. I want to increase the power of these spotlights, but I don't know how. So I'm going to click on the atmosphere and increase the artificial light brightness in here. As you can see, now we can increase the artificial light brightness like that and we have some shadows in this place. Some number about 116% is really good. And in the main bar, I'm going to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode. All right, everything is done for me right now, and I think time for the rendering. But before rendering, I want to increase the uh, exposure to the uh, 63, and now it's much better. Everything is done in here right now, and I think now it's time for the uh, rendering. So I'm going to change a little bit colors in my environment. To see more contrast about my render now it's good and I'm gonna press a screenshot in this place and save it in my desktop as the uh, W1 and press save it takes a little bit time and after that you can see the final result very simple and easy Enscape is one of the powerful rendering engines that you can use on your 3D projects, very simple, in interior design, exterior design, and urban design. So, 66, 76, 86, and it's over. I'm going to open this image in here, and this is the uh, final result, and it's really wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your watching, please subscribe us and goodbye.